How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, here's the thing. Today is another day for me to explore this awesome trail in part four. You saw me ride the trail. Pretty much I was getting used to it. I was getting um, familiar with the territory. You know, obviously there's some crazy stuff I have to expect. But since I am now aware of this track, I plan on rampaging through it, shredding it on a more experienced level because now I know what to expect. But today is about the pads. Part three and four, you saw that I had this pads. I had this right here. I had pretty much, I don't know, probably five inches of space for my leg to move back and forth, which is what I liked. But I found quickly that this was good for on-road, not for off-road. You want your wheels, you want your legs to be tight as possible. Um, on the pad so that there's not too much movement and as I stated earlier what happens is when I have my leg uh, let me see if I can anyway whatever the point is my shin this part and this part ends up sliding too close toward the edge and um, I don't want that and also when I jump um, there's just too much space with the original design this one is a lot better it's a lot more tight I was trying to get away from being saddled in and now for off-roading, that's all I want. So today is about the pads. Let's see how great these pads handle this off-roading experience. I ended up getting these. These are awesome. These are wrist guards and I like it. And it feels very comfortable. I like that my fingers are free. So in case I fall in any weird way, I will be protected. Hopefully I won't have to use this, but hey, as I've already experienced, yesterday you just don't know what to expect one thing i liked about this particular track is you can't really get lost so the first time i came here the idea of exploring it was to see where the boundaries were and how far i could go you know and would i have to use the gps etc you can't get lost all the trails are actually interconnected so i'm not worried about getting lost anymore and now i'm just gonna blaze those trails and let's see how well these pads perform Today is about riding. Let's see what's up, guys. Let's see what's up!
Wow, this is a good track and I'm a beginner. Oh, yes, you're looking at the aftermath of U-Stride attempting to jump this tree at speed. Not slowly, at speed. Like, I don't know how fast I was going, but it's a pretty sizable tree. Now this is normal if you're going slow or um, a moderate speed, but at speed. And I think, oh, that's why. I tried to jump the highest part. I didn't see this, this low part. But I tried to jump the highest part. Wow. Ah, oh, this is a beautiful track. I love it. I absolutely love it. And you know why I love it? Because of the pads. The improvement of the pads. All my life, I've been saying no pads. But now, I'm in love with the pads. Wow. Look at that. I tried. I tried to hang on for dear life, but... <laughs> it parked itself in some weird way. Yo. This is amazing, guys. This is brutally fun. Imagine, I had this MSP in the house for a very long time, riding my high-speed MSP on the tarmac on concrete for a while because I love speed but little did I know although a lot of you have been saying it a little did I know off-roading is a different world of pure enjoyment oh my gosh oh my gosh and what's cool is I'm gonna come here again yes will but I need to get used to it yes I need to get used to this track I need to come here more and really get get used to it hold on let me set this down i'm moving around too much i'll hold it but guys so what's the verdict what's the pad verdict the pads are bombs yeah i could make a little improvement here and there for example if i put a little like one more layer you know of uh, padding right here and here it'll be perfect it'll be absolutely perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. It'll be absolutely what I want. And it's funny, in the world of EUC, or in many worlds, but specifically for me, in the world of EUC, you don't know what you want until you have it. I had no idea pads were so great, man. Well, get me wrong, get me wrong. Like, I don't like when they saddle in on the road, but my goodness. The level of performance is bar none. The level of performance you get is unbelievable. I, I, I'm, I'm late to the game. Yes, I'm very late. But it's better late than never, right? That's what they say, right? Better late than never. My gosh, this is... Now I see why these guys, Zen Lee, you know, Law, Chooch, um, a lot of other guys that I don't know their names, no wonder I see them going off-roading so much. Because off-roading is a different world. It's like, yes, there's no suspension on this, but that's not going to stop me. That's not going to stop anybody. Just reduce the pressure. That crash I experienced back there was mainly due, was primarily due to, obviously, okay, two things it was due to. Speed and my tire pressure was a bit too high. So when I banked, um, 
it just you know the gravel just shifted under it whereas if i had less pressure it would have shifted but it would have been able to grab now suspension would help with that a lot suspension even if i think even if you have high pressure um it's gonna help you uh, i don't know i'm just speculating here but guys this was this was beautiful this was beautiful um yeah i'm just gonna head back now edit this video which you're watching right now and come back again another time leave your comments and so far last time i rated this track a c i'm upgrading this track for beginners for beginners because i'm a beginner this track i give a b plus because there's there's the right amount of turns there's the right amount of so the, the trails aren't wide they're very thin um there is the right amount of branches okay branches over there there's the right amount of those so you could try to jump there's the right amount of hills there's the right amount of dips obviously and the roots part eh, i don't see myself tackling that anytime soon man uh the way that stick went up my the rear end of my euc i don't want to experience that again uh, maybe I'll come up with something to prevent that from happening, but damn, that was scary. I thought the, the I thought it bent my something, you know, I, I wasn't, this is my last wheel. I mean, I don't have any other wheels. The, the other two wheels are, are dead. But uh, yeah, this is great, guys. This was fun. Leave your comments. Leave your opinions and suggestions. I'll see you in another one.